Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I wanted to show something really cool here because we have the uh, spring sale, of course, going on where you can get savings on a lot of great games. But bear in mind that they also have PlayStation Now on sale, which is normally 60 bucks, but they have 25% off. And I wanted to show you guys why I think it is a perfect time to dive into this service because there is a lot of good stuff here, guys, that I want to show you. So, of course, they add new games every month, just like they do with Game Pass. This is a service that's somewhat similar to Game Pass because you get a large library of games to play. Uh, but it's got a couple of things that differentiate it from Game Pass. For one, it's got a much larger selection of games than Game Pass. Because you get a huge selection of PS3 games. You get a bunch of PS4 and PS2 games also that you can try out on the service. And a lot of the games are actually pretty much going on infinitely, or at least as far as I know, you'll see some of these examples of here, of course, are showing that uh, the games will expire. There are certain game releases like Spider-Man, for example, that have a limited release window. But for the most part, what you see is what you get, and it's very rare for games to get dropped off here. And it's got a much huge, much larger selection of games in Game Pass. Um, Game Pass, I would probably say, in terms of like newer releases, edges it out because you get all the Microsoft games day one and whatnot, and they get some other games day one, but there is a ginormous selection of games that I want to show you guys, so we're going to go ahead and just scroll through them, and you'll see what I mean. You know, this is just the A's, and we're already like, how many games is that? Like five or six per thing? Let's see, 18, 24. Sorry, I'm doing some math in my head here. <laughs> We're close to 60 games just in the A's. Now keep that in mind because Game Pass usually has around 150 to 200 games. And there are a lot more games to play on here. Now keep in mind, of course, Game Pass games tend to be a little bit newer overall, I would say. But there's still a lot of fairly recent things you can find on here. Tons of backlog, of course, especially on the PS3 and tons of PS3 games. Um, those, of course, are only streaming, but you can just download games as well. You know, not the PS3 titles, of course, but there are a lot of downloadable games. Even that is larger than what Game Pass offers total, and that's including what you get on the PC side of things. So there is a huge selection of things to play on here, guys, and we're only like halfway ish through right now it's it's crazy it really is i'm sure you've seen a lot of games are like oh yeah i love that game or i've always wanted to try that game well now is your chance because this service has it all guys it really does and you can easily hop into any game so even though there are some ps4 games for example that you can download if you just want to try out the game see what it's like first before you spend the time to download it and all that stuff. You just want to say, hey, is this game actually worth playing? Well, you can just try it out. We can just hop into a game right now and see what that game is like. So let's go ahead and pick out a PS4 game. Um, I don't know. Let's let's go ahead and hop into Wolfenstein in New Order because why not? That's a classic game right there. I haven't played that in a while, but that's really good. Actually, I would say I haven't played in a while. I did play it like a... Uh, I think around uh, shortly before Wolfenstein 2 came out. But anyways, you'll see how fast you can get into the games, you know, not spending several minutes or even hours to downloading the games and going through the painfully slow install times that the PS4 has, which seem to get worse and worse, I swear. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get our save data so we can hop right into where we were just at because why not so that's a really cool feature unfortunately um at least from the last time i tried this service out i wasn't able to do that with ps3 games but it's cool that you could do that with ps4 games because i wanted to kind of resume my save that i had in uh, yakuza 4 on my ps3 kind of pick up where i left off on playstation now having the convenience of just playing it on my ps4 of course would have been fantastic but you can see the image quality looks pretty good here. Obviously, this is streaming. 
Um, so it's not going to look as good, at least, um, you know, if you're uh, seeing it in real time. But on YouTube, it probably looks practically indistinguishable from, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, Wolfenstein, great game. We could hop right in and play this game. I don't know what happened there. I guess it's loading my stuff because whatever. Let's just hop into a uh, level here and start shooting them up. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> I think I can skip the cutscenes in this. Yeah, we can. Oh, okay. I remember, okay, that's probably not the actual uh, best part to start the game, but you get the point, guys, I think. Um, let's try something else here. Skip the movie, thank you. Let's do the shooty shooty. I need to pick something that actually has action. I want some action, guys. I want to just show you how it plays, you know. Uh, okay, let's try this one. Yeah, whatever. By the way, the theme music to Wolfenstein, A New Order. Uh, fantastic stuff, man. All fantastic tracks. Same dude that did the music for Doom, of course, and, uh, the new Colossus. Good stuff. But hopefully we can get some actual action here. Yeah, okay, I gotta do some repelling kind of stuff. We gotta jump in. Or jump into the water, swim our way, kill some Nazis. All right, I gotta get the uh, get the freaking welding gun out or whatever. Yep, do it. Guess I gotta do all the work, you know. Even though you guys are just sitting there at the sidelines, just chilling it. Let me do all the work, of course, and then I gotta shut this. Why would you need to worry about that? <laughs> it's not like they're gonna be like, oh, look, that thing's open. I don't think they're really gonna notice that. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta swim over here. But, yeah, it plays really good. Um, very solid. It just installed control off of this service. That's one of the games that they added on here. We're definitely gonna be checking that out. And, uh, join that. Not sure. Gotta wait for them, I guess, to open the door for me. Come on, open the door. Skip the movie. Thank you. I really wanted some action, but whatever. You get the point, guys. You know, you could play the games. <laughs> they play good. They really do. As long as you have a decent internet connection. Um, no noticeable lag or anything like that. Really cool. And then, of course, you have different categories. Like, if you're into, like, an RPG kind of game, for example, you just want to do some RPG action, it'll show you just those, which is a feature that I wish Game Pass had, where you could just hop in, select the category or whatever. A um, lot of different games that you can check out on here, of course. And you can also just go by other ways as well. Like, if you want not just genre, but you want to, say get a game that has a certain type of theme you could just hop into something like that you know it's really cool to be able to do all that of course um and yeah it's just totally worth it you know it's a huge lineup of games great price and just a great selection of games you know you should definitely uh, look into playstation now it's not just streaming boys and girls it's downloading too it's got it all. See, all these games downloaded from Game Pass, although I didn't have to download some of those because I think I already had Mountain Blade Warband, obviously. I have the physical disc, so, I mean, I guess I could have downloaded it so I don't have to put the disc in, but I digress. Although I'm not sure how that's going to interfere because I have the UK version of the game, but I digress. You know, I really haven't downloaded a whole lot of games, but um, I'm definitely going to be using this service a lot more since we're in this whole crazy pandemic times and try to stay home a little bit more. So, great way to do that is just to play some video. So, just wanted to show you guys this whole service out. Sale ends on the 28th. Definitely consider picking up that PlayStation now. Uh, but till then, Dow Phoenix out.